welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Miranda Marie. For those of you who are returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. So, I just wanted to hop on today as another, please excuse my nails because they definitely need to get done. It's been a long week. But, um, this is just another kind of day in the life of a travel healthcare provider, healthcare technician, nurse, medical assistant, CNA, whatever you may be, this is a day in the life of my travel healthcare, okay? So I had a patient today at 8.30 this morning for a homebound visit. And it is, mind you, it is Sunday. It's Sunday and it is October 22nd, I think. I can't even remember. Um, it's about 9.42. My appointment was at 8.30 this morning. And there was a little bit of traffic due to some construction. Um, this is actually a local home visit. So I'm still here in the Atlanta area. I just had to travel to like a suburb. Um, so because of that, I was getting on my tri preps and everything ready yesterday. I had been trying to contact my provider that I was going to be working with, but never heard from them, never responded back to my calls, my text message, anything like that. So I was running a little bit late today. I was scheduled to be there at 8.30. I, I like to usually be there about 15, 20 minutes prior to, so I can do everything I need to do and get out of the provider's way. Um, so at about 8.37, as I'm coming down the street, I was like, well, let me try and call, you know, let me call the provider, let him know I'm running a little late. Of course, didn't answer. So I was like, well, let me call the claimant's wife and see if, you know, the provider has made it, if, you know, he's there. Just so I can let somebody know I'm running a little bit late due to traffic and construction. So I called and she's like, oh yeah, he's gone already. What? What do you mean? I was just like, oh, okay. She's like, were you supposed to be here with me? I was like, well, yeah, I was supposed to come in case he needed anything extra, but he didn't call me, so I'm assuming he, he he didn't need anything. And so I'm just like, well, do you need anything? Is there anything I can assist you with? You know, I'm coming down the street now. I just wanted to call and let you guys know, you know, I was running a little late due to. And she's like, well, I mean, he really did anything. She's like, well, I do have some questions if you don't mind, you know, coming by. Absolutely not. So I go, answer her questions. I still do what I need to do as far as like vitals and everything because I still have to have vitals. And she was like, yeah, he just came in. He looked over the paperwork and, you know, he assessed his arms and legs and everything. And then he was just like, <coughs> excuse me, I have, I need some water. And, you know, that was it. So I'm just like, Oh, okay, not a problem. So that was a quick, easy morning. And now I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the UPS store because I have to ship all these supplies back to the company. They don't open till 10. So I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. I still have 15 minutes because everything is closed on a Sunday or it doesn't open till 10 or 11 o'clock. So I'm just like, seriously? So I was just like, well, let me just pick up the camera so y'all can get an idea of how things go. So this is just a little bit of how sometimes my little travel assignments can go. But I just wanted to hop on. I hope everyone is having a good Sunday. Despite the little lateness, little traffic and everything, I'm still having a great day. But um, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for these little 15 minutes so I can go ahead and get this stuff to UPS and then head on back home. So, I will be Hello everyone and welcome back. So, when you saw me earlier, I was um, in the middle of waiting for the shipping company to open so I can ship my supplies back. Right now, I am back home. I'm actually getting ready to um, close out my business that I had for the day. So, usually when I do that, it's, um, all the paperwork that I have to fill out, which is basically like my lab requisition form, um, my COVID screening form, and then um, I have a form that I also use for my chart prep. And what I'll do is it's an Excel form. So I will go into my Excel form. I will just type up a little note, like, you know, obtain two SSTs, a lavender and a light blue from patient, obtain from left intercubital or right hand or, you know, whatever. 
Um, if I obtained any urine, EKGs, anything like that, I'll kind of put that in the note. Um, this just happened to be a diagnostic, so I literally just had to do blood work and urine on him. So it wasn't a whole lot. Um, so I'll go ahead and just type that up in my Excel sheet and I will save it. And then I will also upload that into our shared document, which every time we get an invite, there's a specific folder for that invite that you will upload that information to just so like medical records could have that information and then you'll also upload it into the chart as well so that way there's two different ways that they'll be able to pull it up in the system and then i'll also make separate individual folders on my own personal laptop just so that i can keep track of each event um let's say if i was um, working on timeshare or working on a nomad and i have like a general um, practitioner or auditory specialist and like maybe dental or something like that I'll actually make three separate folders so for every patient that I have to um, come in contact with I'll actually scan their information to that individual chart so if ever like there's an issue with the system they can't pull it up or maybe on my end it showed it scanned but on their end they can't find it I can always just go to my own personal folder and pull it back up and email it if I need to or try and re-upload it to the computer so that medical records can have it and so that there's a paper trail in the chart. So right now I'm actually um, getting ready to upload all of that and then I also saw where I just got another event. So I'm going to be looking up that information to see what type of an event it is, if it's just another diagnostic event or if it's, you know, something more, if it's a one day event, two day event, a week, things like that. But yeah, I just wanted to check back in, give an update. I know it's been long since the last time you saw me and I can tell it's long because I just came straight in and even took off my um, uniform top because it was, it was warm. <laughs> it's warm outside today. Warmer than it has been. So um, I just wanted to come in, give you an idea of what I was doing and to close out the vlog. So this is just another day in the life of a travel healthcare professional. So if you are liking these videos and you want more information, please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you click the notification bell so that you know each and every time that I upload a video. Make sure you leave me some comments like let me know what you want to see. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I know some people have been going to my Instagram and sending me DMs about questions. Some people have actually also been emailing me as well, which I perfectly am fine with that no issues at all i will respond back to you as quickly and as efficiently as i can so i do appreciate you guys reaching out showing love i'm really hoping that you're enjoying the content that i've been putting out like i said it's still a process i know i have a lot to learn i know there's still a lot to do but i do appreciate y'all for stopping by and those who have subscribed if you're not subscribed and you're watching what are you waiting for? Like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and then make sure you go tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell some more friends to come on over and be a part of our gang. But until next time, I am Miranda Marie and see you next time.